I'm 33 weeks pregnant, less than two months to go to little baby boy's due date, and we're so excited to get to meet him soon. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you'd like to come along on this journey with me and my family as we get ready to welcome baby number four in this August. So today I thought I would sit down and film my 33 week update. This past week hasn't been eventful like I guess baby wise but we've had a lot going on and so I thought I would give you an update on how me and baby are doing. Baby stats. This week the baby at 33 weeks is as big as a head of celery. He or she weighs about 4.2 pounds, although we know our little boy weighs much more than that. Measures about 17 and a half inches from head to toe and may grow up to a full inch this week, which is crazy to think. This is kind of the stage in pregnancy where they just start packing on pounds, packing on inches and just getting really big, which is exciting. It means less room for baby to move around, so a bit more pain for mama, but definitely exciting to watch him grow bigger. I laugh now when I read the apps and stuff that will say like the weight of the baby because we do know because I said in my last update that he's weighing around five pounds already at 32 weeks so he's probably bigger now and so he's definitely a big boy. And I know usually they can be off on the ultrasounds they can be off I think like a pound or two but I do know what my son Oliver it was like right on they like said he was four pounds at 32 weeks I think at 36 weeks he was like 34 pounds and then if you added up half a pound until he was born, it came out to like exactly what he weighed. So it was pretty accurate with him. So we'll see with this baby. But definitely this week he has been active and moving around, which has been really nice. Love feeling him. His hiccups have picked up more. Definitely I can stop and be like, yep, he has hiccups again. And so I've been feeling that a lot. Um, updates for baby. I was trying to think what's been different this week. I think the only thing I have noticed more is how he reacts to noises. With all my kids, I've always noticed this, especially towards the very end, but it's so much fun to like realize that whether the kids are like hyper and they're yelling when they're playing, or when we have prayer at our house on Wednesdays, my husband will lead with the guitar, and the louder he plays, the more he, this little guy moves. And it's always funny, because I'll be like, singing and also like, oh, he's like hitting me in the bladder somewhere. <laughs> and it's usually because the music's getting louder but definitely can tell he's reacting more to noise. I know at our ultrasound they said he was practice breathing, which is definitely exciting and good. Um, but yeah, he's been getting bigger. I can definitely tell he's still head down and he is nestling his way down. So it gets a bit uncomfortable. Everyone I've seen is saying I look lower. I don't know if I do or not, but I think when he went head down, he just like, he got in a good spot, I think. And so definitely feel like he's lower. I'm hoping the next week or two to get his name felt board thing we're going to do where we're going to put his name on it and that's going to be kind of like with a frame above his crib and so hopefully then we can do a name reveal video and tell our family but i just have to wait until i can get that i finally found one i do like and so we're just in the process of getting that and getting everything made mommy stats um this week let me go weigh myself <laughs> okay with the magic of the internet, I am now back and I weigh 158 pounds, which I was trying to think about that. I was like, wait, either I haven't gained weight or I lost a pound. I'll have to go back in my videos and watch, but I weigh 158 pounds and so far everything's been going good. At symptom wise this week, I don't have a lot of like, I think like overly new symptoms, just definitely more heartburn having more and more trouble sleeping, which is not uncommon in the third trimester at all, and really just feeling the weight of him. I think the only other thing, besides my being out of breath, from literally running to our bathroom over there and coming back, I'm out of breath. But the only other thing that's been a bit newer this week, symptom-wise, is I think it's called like lightning crotch or something. It's got a funny name, but it's, I don't know what it is. It's not like the sciatic nerve or anything. But it's when they like push down and it's like this sharp like 
ow, that hurt, really bad pain. And he's definitely been doing it, which is reassuring that he's still head down. But definitely, yes, feeling that where I'll get the sharp pains and I can just tell he is nestling down in there and getting ready to be born, which is exciting. It's just painful in the process. But that's been, I think, one of the more noticeably newer symptoms this week. I have still not had any swelling, which I'm very thankful for. I tend to not really swell my pregnancies unless I like, go past my due date, then I swell a little bit. But I'm very thankful of that because I know many people who swell a lot and it's painful. And so I'm very thankful that I don't swell. But I always keep an out and I was always asking you know, about swelling. And always that like the standard questions they'll ask and making sure that mommy and baby are doing good. I think one funny thing that showed up this week which I don't know if anyone else has ever dealt with this. If you have, don't forget to comment down below and let me know if I'm like the only person that goes through this. But my wisdom teeth, I've not had them removed. I've had issues in that when I needed to have them removed, I was either pregnant or breastfeeding. It wasn't recommended. And so I've never had a good window of time to do it. And money-wise and stuff is expensive. But my wisdom teeth are coming in fine. I just, I have no room for them. And so they kind of, you know, make room then you go into my jaw and without fail every time i'm pregnant i don't know it's got to be with the hormones every time i'm pregnant as i progress through the pregnancy they'll come in more and more and sure enough this week that's been i guess it's not really a symptom but like something that's happened this week is the painfulness of having my wisdom teeth coming in even more and it's usually whenever I'm pregnant that happens. And so I don't know if that's a hormonal thing or something, but definitely if you've dealt with that or you know someone who has, don't forget to comment down below and I guess let me know, am I alone on this or not? <laughs> Upcoming appointments. I have my 34 week midwife appointment coming up in towards the middle to end of this month. And after that will be like my 36 week and then I will go weekly, which is crazy. That means we're like, we'll be in the final stretch then. But other than that, I don't really have any other appointments coming up, no ultrasounds or anything. And so really it's kind of just, these are like, I feel like the last few weeks before things get like hectic or crazy, I guess. I feel like 32 weeks to like 36 is like this kind of calm lull, I guess, at least for me it is, where I'm not in like crazy lady nesting mode, but I'm also, I'm getting close to him coming. But it's just, there's not this like rushed feeling yet. I feel like once I hit 36 weeks, I just go crazy. I clean everything like too many times. I clean the same thing over and over and over until the baby's born to make sure it's clean when I go into labor. And I will organize everything. I'll make sure like triple check my hospital bag. And I feel like once I hit that point, my mind is like, in, is that a contraction? Is that baby coming mode? And, but until then, this is kind of my lull my quiet time and so I know definitely I'm excited to be progressing closer to that time as we get ready for our little boy to be born so this week this week baby wise and pregnancy wise I've not like I said I've not had a lot of symptoms not had anything really changing but this past week was the 4th of July so that was fun me and my family um, where we live we we're actually super excited because we've been told by many people that where we're at we could see the fireworks like right from our deck and so we were, it was such a blessing we were able to kind of have like a little a little party as our family and we, I made some pie and we did sparklers and just kind of some fun stuff and then we got to watch the fireworks outside on our deck and then we ended up going up in the kids room and finishing it because it was a little loud but that was definitely fun this week and other than that we've just been busy we've had a lot going on but very busy and very active so this was like my first day of being able to be like at home and like do laundry and rest, I guess. Something new this week is that I started my series that it's, it's like a declutter, clean with me, organize um, videos, but it's pregnancy nesting edition. And basically I was like, there's so many things I want to get organized and get in place before he comes. And I was getting antsy about it. And I was like, I wanna film a video about it. And hopefully maybe it would encourage other mamas kind of going through the nesting organizing phase at the end of pregnancy but just like an encouragement to you know let's just get in organize stuff get things clean and so my first video of that is up and that was doing all the closets in our house and I filmed the second video in the series which is decluttering and organizing my kids room that one I definitely wanted to get done before baby and so that one should be up one link soon so that's something new that I've been doing this week and I will have the link down below in the description but otherwise, yeah, not a whole lot's been going on. This is kind of a short update. 
but yeah everything's been going good very excited that from here out we're under two months until baby comes and so it's just each update is closer and closer to when he'll come I'm so glad you're able to come and join me today as I gave you an update on me and baby's week and I hope that you're having a great week as well um, don't forget to comment down below if you're also expecting it's so much fun to kind of be in the journey along with other women and see where they're at in their pregnancy I know that's one of my favorite things that I like watching other youtubers who are similar times or who are also pregnant and to kind of go on that journey at the same time and thanks again for stopping by Thank you.